Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. Today I am sharing with you four budget-friendly DIYs. In this video, you're going to see materials from Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and in the description box below, I will leave you a materials list for each DIY. I have all of the materials for all four DIYs spread out on the table to just kind of show you what we will be using. The gift bag came from Walmart. The 8x10 frame came from Dollar General. The flowers came from Walmart and Dollar Tree. This galvanized table charger came from Dollar General. The signs from Dollar General also. This burlap ribbon is from Walmart and it does have wire in it. You'll also need some floral stem wire. This little jar and little ceramic Easter egg both came from Dollar Tree. The carrots came from Walmart. The green grass came from Dollar General and this cute galvanized bucket came from Dollar General also. And I picked up the twine at Walmart. You will also need some paint. You do not have to use the Waverly brand. Just use whatever you have and you'll need a paintbrush. Okay guys, so let's get started with our first DIY. I am going to start with a little white track gift bag. So first you'll want to take your frame and take it out of the glass and paint your frame white. Then you're going to take your bag from Walmart, and this was around 98 cents, and just cut the front part, the smooth side out, then trace it so that it fits in your eight by 10 frame, then cut the little white truck out, and you'll want to use some rubbing alcohol to clean the glass on your frame. This is the second DIY where I have used this little white truck gift bag and I used it also to do a pizza pan wreath. So I will link that tutorial below for you just in case you haven't seen it. So just take your little white truck and put it in your frame, smooth it out, and then put your frame back together. Now you can either hang your frame on the wall or use it on your table. So I tried mine both ways and I think I'm going to leave mine sitting on the table. If you want to dress up your frame a little bit, you could tie a little twine bow and hot glue it on. I think DIY number two is my favorite. Okay, I found this galvanized table charger at Dollar General for around $2.50 and this cute sign at Dollar General for $1. And I'm just using Gorilla Glue brand hot glue to hot glue the sign to the charger. Just be very careful when you're using your hot glue gun. I have mine on low temp. I picked up the purple and yellow flowers at Walmart, and I picked up the fern at Dollar Tree. So just trim your flowers a little bit shorter, and we're going to be need, uh, making a swag, so you're going to need a couple zip ties. I was really surprised to find this pretty fern at Dollar Tree, and so I'm just cutting off two pieces off of the fern for this little swag. I used two picks of the purple flowers, one to go the left, one to go the right, but I did trim a few pieces off of each one to make it a little bit smaller. So to make your swag, you're going to put your longer pieces on bottom and kind of overlap the stems of them. Next, I'm using a piece of fern on each side, and I like to make my left side and my right side match, or they don't have to match perfectly, but close. And then now I'm adding the pretty yellow carnations and I just put a couple on each side. The carnations and the purple flowers are from Walmart and they're $1.47 each. Okay, when you have your swag like you want, you're going to take your zip tie and you're going to wrap your zip tie tightly around your little swag and pull it as tight as you can and then trim off the extra part of the zip tie. And I did add two zip ties because my zip ties are kind of tiny, so I went ahead and added a second one just to be sure. 
I also took my little swag and kind of bent it to shape it around the little galvanized charger. So just kind of play with it a little bit before you hot glue it onto your charger. And I am using Gorilla Glue brand hot glue and Gorilla Glue brand hot glue gun. It takes quite a bit of hot glue to glue your swag on. So after you get quite a bit of glue on it, you might want to piece of, take a piece of ribbon or fabric and place it over the top of the hot glue and kind of let it dry together. Next, I'm tying a bow and I did not let out any tails for this bow, so you can let out tails if you would like. But just remember to try to make your loops the same size on each side. And this ribbon does have wire and it's from Walmart. And I'm going to take a piece of floral stem wire and wrap it tightly around the center of the bow. After you have the wire twisted tightly around the center of your bow, then you can trim off the extra part of the wires and fold them down. And I also hot glued the burlap bow onto the charger and I used a lot of the Gorilla Glue brand hot glue and I just held it for a little while until the glue could dry so that it would stay in place. I decided to hang mine up on the wall so I just used some twine to make a loop and then I hot glued the twine to the back of the charger plate and let it dry but now this is super cute if you have a little stand that you can just prop the plate up in and display it. So I think this is my favorite DIY of the four. So in the comment section below, after you've watched the video, let me know which DIY is your favorite. Okay, and DIY number three, you'll need some grass, Easter grass, a galvanized little bucket, some carrots, some foam, a wooden dowel, and then you're going to have to trim your foam so that it fits in your little bucket. And my galvanized bucket came from Dollar General for $1. So I've trimmed my foam down and I'm just adding some hot glue to the bottom of the bucket and I'm going to push my foam down in the bucket. Next, you'll want to trim the wooden dowel so that you can place it in the center of your foam and then just slide your carrots right over the wooden dowel. I got my inspiration for this little DIY from Wayfair. If you go on Wayfair's website, they have one similar to this for $25. So you can make this one for around $6. So just take your little Easter grass and be very careful if you use your hot glue gun, but I just placed it around the little carrots. And then I gave the grass a little bit of a trim. And just be very careful when you're using your hot glue. And this is DIY number four. And I'm sorry if you see some of the other pieces. We kind of painted everything at one time. So you're going to paint your lid whatever color you want and paint your egg whatever colors you would like. You all know that I'm not very good at painting. So my daughter, she did a lot of the painting for me. So she added some pink polka dots on the little egg. And I kind of wish we would have painted the lid also pink. And then I just took some twine and I tied it around the little jar. And this jar is plastic and it's from Dollar Tree and it's a smaller size. So we thought it was a good size to give as a gift to maybe your neighbor or your friend or maybe your child's teacher. But just take some ribbon or twine and tie it around the jar. And you can use the ribbon from Dollar Tree. I may change out the ribbon or the twine and place ribbon on mine before I give it as a gift. And I've also got to buy some more jelly beans to fill it up before it's ready to give away. You can fill this cute little jar up with whatever kind of candy that you would like. M&Ms would look cute, gumballs, jelly beans. So whatever kind of candy that will fit in it would look really cute. And it makes a sweet little gift for someone. And then you'll want to hot glue your egg or whatever. Um, Dollar Tree has some more shapes. They even have a cute little bunny. So you'll want to take your little ceramic piece and hot glue it on top of the lid and let it sit until it completely dries before you move it around. It would look cute maybe to paint the egg solid pink and the lid solid pink and then do maybe a white or pink ribbon. So there's lots of color options for this little cute jar. And then here I'm just filling it with some jelly beans from Dollar Tree and I need to pick up a couple packages more so that I can fill it completely full. 
I really hope that you enjoyed these budget-friendly DIYs. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. And also, I would love to hear from you. I love reading y'all's comments. So please leave me a comment below. And thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you have not already.